All right, it's my old Billman. I've had this one for, God, at least 15 years. It was used when I got it. It's a great little coffee maker, and, you know, the newer ones have the gauge and everything, but these are a great one for camping, home. Slightly quirky. You have to um, kind of get your technique down of how you like to use them, but there's their... You just, their fill lines are there and the steam releases in the handle. So you just fill the water just under there. And this is how I use them. You know, I'm, there's a million videos and everyone has all this. And sometimes I switch my technique as I get used to using them again. I haven't been using this one a lot lately. Sometimes I use a lot more, but we're camping and going out more. So it's back in use. And yeah, it's a great little machine. And it's fun to use, kind of gives you something fun to do. Of course, you can use Mocha Pod any way you want to do it. It's good. An old perker I used to use a lot. But I like to fill the coffee in a little tub like this so some can fall through the tube. It's easy. You can also do it on top of the machine. But this way it stays a little neater and you don't lose any coffee. But let's just keep going. Kind of clean the rim tamp it a little bit. I once saw a tamper on eBay that had the hole drilled in the middle you could use with these. I should have got it, but I don't know if it's really necessary. Well, all those toys are fun, but not always necessary. And then uh, there it goes. They have little levels and there's another little attachment so you can make two, four, or six cups, you know, whatever. But the truth is you tend to make the full pot every time. It's just the way it is. And you'll, you'll see, we'll have a little demonstration on our last camping trip of uh, the way we go. But that's it. You just prep it up, water, get there, tighten it up, and um, of course shut up your pre-grind. Well, you know, you can grind your coffee there, but it's nice sometimes just to pre-grind some on home and bring it with you. And there we go. We're going to get this baby going here. Go ahead and subscribe, and um, yeah, we'd appreciate that. But they steam really nice. Um, people, Some people like to use them just for steaming, but um, this one does great. It steams a beautiful amount, warms your milk up, and doesn't take too long. I once switched to the uh, single tip, but then back to the three. It just seems it worked a little better. And You know, this is the way I do it. I kind of wait for the coffee to come out once you have the pressure to steam, and and you can kind of adjust it a little and you can see you get a little crema and you know I like to make a nice big pot of coffee because we're going to want two big cups you may not want to like keep making little cups over and over so yeah just make yourself up a nice one and you can play with the little knob there and adjust it how you want as the pressure goes and so that kind of starts blasting out clear then you know you've kind of used up the coffee and well, yeah, you get a little crema and everything there. Watch that. Really fun. And there you go. And then just turn off the pressure, turn off the stove, and you'll let that cool down. But look at this. You get two beautiful mugs of coffee. This is the one big pot, so it's enough really for two people to have two nice, beautifully strong, nice cups of camping coffee, or really coffee at home. And that's about it. It's a beautiful little machine. So there's a million videos. So it's easy to use. You can see that on the stoves, even the Coleman, you sometimes have to put the side um, little air wind guard down because the handle gets in the way. But no big deal. And you know, I got a nice amount of froth. So there you go. Luta likes a little less milk. I like a little more. But yeah, you've got some beautiful mugs of coffee, and there you are. You're happy. You just had another little fun thing to do while you're camping. Because that's really the funnest thing of camping is food and coffee. And there you go. Subscribe up. That's the Billman in use and pretty damn cool.